Today we'll be looking at something that many of you have requested, an AC Delco Professional Series Oil Filter. Now, interestingly enough, you can purchase one of these on Amazon for less than $4. In this case, this was $3.88. This runs in your big GM motors, your uh, Camaro SS's, the big Tahoe engines, Corvettes, things along those lines. Very excited to open this up. And of course, before we begin, if you'd like to see any other filters, please leave comments below. We do have the Walmart Super Tech filters coming up next. And again, we'll just keep on adding to the list here. So let's jump right into it. And I have this Pure Later filter as a comparison tool because you'll see the features on this filter certainly unique and something that I think is very, very cool. And that specifically, take a look at this nylon core. Typically what you find is a metal core, as you see here on the Pure Later. And again, this is what you find at least 90% of the time, I would say. Now, the advantage here, according to AC Delco, is the nylon core is one and a half times stronger than metal. And I believe the PSI is something like 120 PSI resistance. So that is certainly a very, very cool feature, but the thing that really jumps out to me, and again, this is a $4 filter made in the USA, but take a look at the spacing. Look how large the spacing is on the nylon core. And what that tells me is the flow rate characteristics must be absolutely wonderful on this filter. Now again, I'm not trying to bash by any means Purilator. I love their filters, but typically again, you will find a metal core and then many, 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 many little tiny holes in there for the oil to flow through. But I do like that very, very much. That is a very cool feature. Secondly, take a look at the end caps. In other words, you have your center core, and then these are your end caps. And specifically, what you don't see is any gluing. And Purelater is one of these companies that do an excellent job. Take a look at the gluing or the adhesive to join the metal end caps to the filter. Incredibly, incredibly clean gluing or the adhesive is incredibly clean. But in this case, you don't see any adhesive. And that's because it's actually welded on ultrasonically. So there's no adhesive whatsoever. And the whole point behind that, as far as I understand it, and if I'm wrong, please correct me, but the whole point behind that is you don't want any contaminants getting stuck on that adhesive. And they've, uh, they've chosen not to use any here. Very, very cool. The other thing is sometimes on some filters, for example, this is a Motorcraft, which is Ford. Motocraft filter and sometimes you'll find this overspray on the gluing and that's another and again you're nitpicking at this point but that's another nice thing essentially they're just wiping that out of the out of the equation altogether the other filter I will say that did not use any adhesive was the Denso which is uh, Toyota the Toyota oil filter which is made by Denso incredibly clean filter but again for four bucks pretty darn good. Take a look at the spacing here. It's very, very good as well. This is not a synthetic filter. This is most likely a blend of polyester or fiberglass. Now, the micron rating is 30, which is very, very good. If you want to go beyond this, in other words, you want a 20 micron, 20 to 25 micron rating, you have to go with Amsoil, Royal Purple, Wix XP, that sort of thing. The way I feel about these filters, personally, is I would just follow what the, what the manufacturer recommends. So if I'm running this filter with my uh, six liter Camaro, and, I, and the manual states to replace the oil every 7,000 miles, I'm perfectly, perfectly happy with this filter. And for the price point, it's a slam dunk. Now, the other thing is on top, right here, you have a bypass valve. The whole point behind this valve, as you can see, it opens up. And if for any reason, if this filter is clogged, the, the oil can't run through it, this little filter, excuse me, this little valve opens up and unfiltered oil would at least get back in the engine. It's a safety feature, not every filter has it, but most of them do. So that's your bypass valve, and then this guy, this is your anti-drain back valve. The whole point behind this is when you shut off your engine, this retains the oil inside the filter. Now specifically, where you see the difference is the media, uh, or the type of construction. And the type of construction in this case is rubber as, a as opposed to silicone. 
And silicone does have an advantage. Now again, you usually you find this in your seven to eight dollar range and above. But silicone has a, a wider temperature range. I believe down to minus 100 and up to, gosh, I think it's 300 or 400 degrees. It's some very, very wide parameter. Rubber cannot withstand those temperatures nearly as well, but I will say this. We did open up a Frem Extra Guard, which has a rubber anti-drain back valve, and that filter was used for 6,000 miles, and the valve was perfectly, perfectly fine. There was no, the elasticity was still very good. There was no cracking, no degrading. So again, as long as you follow how often to change the filter, you'll be perfectly fine. Again, you would change it more often if you're drag racing or towing or you're in dusty conditions. But if you're just doing, you know, having a good time on the weekends, point A to point B type of driving, perfectly, perfectly fine. And that's essentially what you're looking at here. So a lot of bang for your buck for $4. Again, 30 micron rating made in the USA. Anti-drain back valve, you have your bypass valve there as well and I tell you the the main parting piece is this nylon core so I hope this gives you a pretty good idea what you can expect from AC Delco now any other filters that you would like to see please leave a comment we'd love to keep on adding to the list here if you'd like to see anything else that I'm not showing again in these filter review videos please leave those comments and uh, we'll keep on adding to the list there